All right, so we got this uh, stubborn deck of clouds hanging around here at noon on Monday. Hopefully the sun will make a brief appearance at some point this afternoon. Got some much needed rain overnight, Michelle. Yeah, we picked up about three quarters of an inch to an inch of rainfall, Patrick, and that's the most we're going to see here over the next five to seven days. I don't really have any other widespread rain events in the forecast. We just got to shake free of the chill and the clouds, and that's been tough to do this morning. Hurricane barrier camera showing the overcast skies in Providence, and that extends all the way down to Newport with an occasional little glimpse of brighter skies and sunshine. And I do think that we will see some of those breaks of blue a little bit more as the afternoon goes on. So we are cool the next few days. Early part of this week running below normal for high temperatures. We're still climbing above 60 degrees, especially tomorrow and Wednesday, but it is going to be on the cool side for this point in the month. It is a mainly dry week, as I mentioned, and we are going to start to warm things up. So our temperatures will be getting closer to 70 by the end of the week. Looking at our satellite and radar this morning. Storm system from yesterday has pushed offshore. Upper level disturbance still working through, and that's why we're hanging on to the clouds this afternoon, and it's also why we're going to be under the risk of an isolated sprinkle or shower. Nothing widespread like we saw last night. Check out these rainfall totals. Up over an inch of rain in New Bedford, East Providence, and West Warwick. Portsmouth with just below an inch of rain, and Lincoln with about three quarters of an inch of rainfall. Now, for the rest of the afternoon, any any showers very light, so not expecting to add much of anything to those rainfall totals. Our high temperatures with a few peaks of sun should jump up to near 60 degrees here at the end of the day. And you can see that isolated activity next couple of hours into the afternoon. This is at 3 o'clock with the temperatures upper 50s to near 60 degrees. Still a little blip of green here and there for early evening activities. And then as the night goes on, any of those isolated showers after midnight should be winding down. Just partly cloudy skies during the night with our lows falling to the lower and middle 40s. By 8 o'clock in the morning, we're already back to about 51 degrees. And by the midday hours, close to 60. And then tomorrow afternoon, a mix of sun and clouds and those high temperatures more like it in the lower to middle 60s. One good thing about the rainfall did at least temporarily give us some relief from some high pollen counts. I do expect those numbers to be back up tomorrow, Wednesday and Thursday with the drier air and some breezy winds developing. I do expect to see west winds tomorrow 10 to 15 miles per hour and gusting up to about 25 miles per hour. In the seven day forecast mentioned uh, that turnaround to warmer temperatures at the second half of the week. So Thursday is kind of the starting point here of a more extended stretch of mild air. We're going to see those high temperatures on Thursday in the upper 60s and maybe even hitting 70 degrees and we'll see more weather like that for Friday. Friday, Saturday and Sunday. There is a chance each of those afternoons here at the end of the week and weekend to get an isolated shower around. Those are hit or miss and nothing in widespread or long lasting.